Hi, I'm Karen. I'm from Arkansas. I've been planning on doing this video for a couple of months now. I was going to put on some makeup and follow bullet points and sound like a coherent human being. But right now, I'm so angry and frustrated that here we are. This is what you got. I am a registered nurse working the ICU bachelor degree, but I'm sitting at home now, month six, taking care of grandkids so my family can be their essential employees. They can be out working. We've been at stay at home status for six solid months. And now we're doing virtual learning on the computer. And I'm back, I'm bouncing from one room to the other, trying to make sure that each child is doing what they need to be doing. The reason I'm so frustrated is because, and fearful, well fearful because in the beginning of this damn pandemic, all I could think of because of my nurse is germs and, and infection and do I, am I disinfected enough? Have I missed something? Has somebody not washed their hands? Being a germaphobe in a pandemic is not a good thing. I'm frustrated because if Trump gets elected again, not only are more people going to die, but our country, as bad as it is now, could end up in war. I didn't vote for him in 2016. I'm a Republican. I didn't vote for him in 2016 because I knew a failed businessman had no business as a president of the United States. For God's sake, he's got the code to the nuclear bombs and here he is trying now to piss somebody off enough that we get into a war between now and January so if he gets if he gets, uh, gets elected again we are in deep crap in so many ways I, I just can't even fathom what that's going to happen I'm a Christian and I cannot understand how evangelicals have voted for him and still support him despite his ignorance, his blasphemy, the fact that he's nowhere near Christ-like, but they, they still support him. And it's, this is intelligent people I'm talking about. Nurses, doctors still support this moron. Uh, I, I just... Everybody's frustrated, everybody's tired, and I'm past it. And I just want to, people to know we don't have to live like this. We don't have to live like this. It didn't have to be this way. We didn't have to lose 200,000 people. 200,000, that's unfathomable. I was gonna give you a big speech about Christianity and uh, being a Republican, but this is what you got. So use it or you don't use it.